what's up, my back burner family? Right now, we're going back into the game last word. It's been probably a month or two, or even three months since I last played this. So, I'm going to be rusty once again. Um, I realized that in the last video, I was uh, being uh, kind of noobish, idiotic, and uh, I wasn't playing the game correctly. That's why I didn't finish the first chapter until like an hour in which is ridiculous but let's continue in the second chapter yes the second chapter hostility all right let's see what we're gonna do oh arrow keys arrow keys that's right oh who's this right here how do i okay gossip chatter discourse okay let's honestly I can't quite tell whether or not the invention had any effect on me, or whether I'm too uncom too comfortable here to leave. But I will admit that I'm growing tired much more quickly than before. Okay. Chatter. I'm just remembering who that servant is. I thought he looked familiar. Oh, Seymour House level two. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, how do I? Okay, okay. We should talk to General Sophus. We haven't talked to this person ever. Meow. That's a good-looking cat. <coughs> hey, kitty. What's your name? Your collar says your name is Harper. Oh, another co topic. What a cute old gal you are. Meow, meow. meow. Hey, gossip with me. Where you go? Ah, yes. That gorgeous white-haired cat truly livens up this old estate. Oh, rumor has it that you can upgrade your bows if you talk to her. But honestly, that makes no sense. Blasted rumors. Okay. I can update. Let's see. What? You're talking. You're a character. You can I can have discourse with you. This is insane. I can argue with a cat. Okay, first chatter. Meow. How are you, Harper? Still lounging around the estate? I see. Don't have too much fun. Meow, meow. Upgrades. What? What? Use bows to equip skills. Earn bows by leveling up or purchasing them here. Purchase skills from the servant. All right. What is this? I do have a lot of money. Charisma boost. A light boost in charisma that inspires Seymour to break beyond level four. Let's gossip. I was captivated when the professor's machine got the last word. This power is in no way some abstract social pressure. Yeah. I'm glad you're here, Miss Gossip. I forgot my name is Gossip. It's a pleasure to see a photographer at the party. Does that mean I did not have to purchase this from the... You know, I'm a photographer? Of course. You get in the habit of memorizing the faces of photographers when you become a boxer. Pictures are taken every match. I only came to one of your matches years ago, back before you. Before I broke my hand. Yes, I saw you there, though. I didn't know your name, of course, but like I said, I learned to memorize. Why is that? A photographer can display you however they like. News journals, posters, you name it. They can be allies or enemies. I find that it's safe to know who you're up against inside and outside the ring. How am I gaining experience through these things? All right. I haven't spoke, spoke with you at all, General Standoff. Standoff. This experiment is disturbing. The fact that he's practicing on civilians goes against the military spirit. I don't know how he managed to get a machine to hold such power over us, but it must be stopped before someone gets mildly perturbed. 
Cool. Cool, cool. Although I must admit, for it's proving to have marvelous potential for, uh, never mind. For the military, duh. Okay. I can't explain the professor has the gall to experiment on uh, on his guests. Has he no honor? It is rather surprising. I'd expect the formal col colonel to have at least some ethical code. I'm beginning to think that all of these talks of his good deeds are simply rumors to aid his reputable reputation. Lock topic unknown. Okay. Miss hmm. Prado is getting worked up over the obligations the professor has set upon us. I may be able to light her fuse if I can gather the right information. If she gets angry enough, maybe her passion will disrupt the scene. Okay. All right, so I have to do something with her. Hey, can I taste the wines? You got anything to tell me? You got anything? Mm -hmm. You are currently involved directly in my unhappiness. Wow. Wow. That hurt. But I shall be the better person and conceal this information to you. From you. If you have enough stored experience, I am obligated to teach you a few of the more advanced skills I've seen over the years. Teach me. Oh, I need more, more, more money. Spend stored experience, which is money, to learn skills. Read the information below spending. There are no refunds. Skills will not work until they are equipped. Equip them in the main menu. All right. Common courtesy. Start each discourse with 10 extra attack and 10 extra power. Even the commoners know common courtesy. That's a good one, actually. Start each discourse with 10 extra power. Can be upgraded. Blinking is a sign of weakness. Okay. Polite smile. Sorry, each discord with 10 extra attack. Why is my phone talking right now? Stop it! Stop it! No! No! My phone going nuts right now. Like, Google just started talking. That's crazy. Google, I don't want you here. I didn't even mention your name. Start each one with extra attack. Okay. Uh, inf infliction protection. Gain 5, 10, or 15 bonus power when landing the conversation cursor on reddish pegs. Interesting. It's not what you say, but how you say it. Peace of mind. I gotta be, like, very selective here. Recover composure when using submissive phrases unless your tones will match. Okay. Tipping point. Increases experience gained at the end of the discourse. Sounds awesome. A f start discourse as if one level stronger. Huh. That's cool. Saving grace. Avoid losing the conversation once per discourse that is pretty cool i want common courtesy yes and uh let's equip it okay can i can i uh equip is z all right yes yes i could get more than one skill equipped that is amazing hold on Give me more. What do you do again? Yeah, give me more power. Give it. What do you do again? How about you? <gasps> this is amazing. You? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh. 
Oh, I can't do this one. Look how much. No, no. Firm handshake. What do you do again? No, 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 no. Let's go with... What's this one again? I forget. I don't know. I guess I'll go with this one. I can't go with this one. I need something with three. You? I'll go with you. Because I'm going to use up all my bowls doing this. There. Cool. All right, let's go. She said something about there being a wine in the bathroom. Okay. There's a small bottle of homemade wine in this in the toilet. Disgusting yet intriguing. New wine label. Oh yeah. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Oh. Nothing? Oh. The crackle of the warm fire soothes me. Hmm. Did I already talk to you about this? Can we discourse? As a soldier, I'm open to hear the opinions of civilians. Would you like to speak up? Yes, I would. Why have you never joined the forces? I feel I have enough potential in my life. Oh. You're clearly implying that the military is for those without potential and you without a house to fall back on. Goship House is indeed a former house and most people in my position would enlist simply to regain some sort of prestige. Yet I haven't. And to reiterate, reiterate, and to reiterate, <laughs> bad English today. It is because I have the potential to garner prestige without the prescribed methods of the military. You do what again? I am the head photographer at the Mishinbo Corporation. Oh. Ah, yes, you're truly living up to your potential. While my soldiers and I risk our lives for the welfare of our great nation, you take pictures for a company that bottles syrup water. You overestimate your worth and underestimate mine. Let us expand on why you're wrong. Discourse. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do? Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. We want to start moving. You better not attack me back. Ah! You, you want to irritate me? Ah! Gotta irritate her back. Oh my god! Stop it! <laughs> We're both getting way angry right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Gotta make her her very angry. Ah! <laughs> this person really likes getting people angry right now. Woo! My goodness! Beyond return! What is going on? I can't do that. How? How am I already 
Ah! Oh, this is so terrible! This is terrible! Ah! Can I do this? I don't think I'm gonna win this. Uncivilized, I got her way. I'm, I lost, right? Oh my goodness. We gotta do a powerful move. Uncivilized, my goodness. Oh, that's amazing. You are going. We can do this, right? Yes, we're doing it. We're gonna win. Yes! Oh, that was that was painful. So I, I learned that, which I wasn't observant about last time, with the shapes. It's a rock, paper, scissors game. And you really want to get the other person angry so you can win faster. And uh, I was losing a lot because I didn't realize that. Woo! All right. <clears throat> You're a tough opponent, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm right. So now what do we do? Um. Nothing. Well, other than you handling, handing over your pride, that's a physical impossibility. You rank? <clears throat> that wouldn't work. <sighs> your fashion sensibility? Oh. If I give you this bow tie, will you leave me alone? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I give you this bow tie, will you leave me alone? Are you satisfied? I'm greatly satisfied. I'm never satisfied. Okay, I guess I'm not satisfied. But for the sake of this conversation, certainly. That was amazing. Who else do I got to talk to? All right. Professor Chatter is still an honorary colonel. I guess that's no surprise. He was loved well in the military. Do you know Mrs. Prattle's son? Private Prattle? Well, former private, really? Former private, really? Good riddance. He looked up to the professor like a mentor. Oh, we got it. We got it. Let's save here, guys. This is ridiculously long. <laughs> I am apologetic guys i am so sorry i can't believe i've been recording for over 30 minutes now and it feels like we didn't have any real progress as of yet so let's do this kitty upgrades now what's this Ooh, that's amazing. Can I buy this? I need that in my life. That is amazing. How do I equip that? Is that like a skill? So that's a topic I need to talk about in order to get her angry. Oh, man. I never knew Private Prado personally, but Mr. McCall is about his age. I wouldn't doubt they frequent some of the same circles. Thank you. Tell me more about her son. Mrs. Prado's son was younger than I am, but he joined the military in traditional Prado fashion. Not a surprise. It runs in their family. Ooh, she must have a lot to say about him. Private Paddle was never an exceptional soldier, but he was adequate and quite famous for his lineage. Having him was a boost of sorts. So long as the Prattles hold reputation in the armed forces, our military gets respect. That's bad. Eee. 
Mrs. Prado's son, I know him. We both sort of grew up together. The McCalls and the Prados have been pretty close for a few decades. He has fairly scandalous history though. He went AWOL. Moreover, he left to run off with a rather rich older lady. You might say of her, Mrs. Seymour of the house, Seymour house. Seymour? Wait. Wait a second. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Uh, that didn't count for anything? Wait. Wait! Yeah. Private Paddle always had a taste for, I guess you could call it aged wine. Is it doing anything? Yes, it is. Prado's absence was a mild blow to the reputation of the armed forces, at least in the eyes of the public. Okay, I gotta re-talk to all of them. Hi. They say Private Prado ran off with Mrs. Seymour. More importantly, he left the forces to do so. Chasing a woman in the wilderness is the true goal of every young man. <laughs> that is the true goal of every young man. But only a coward drops his rank and flees his duty. <laughs> so, you've heard. It's rather embarrassing. Mother ran off with the Prado heir. <laughs> He's younger than me. Oh, gosh. I, could, I can tell. Oh, that is embarrassing. Not only that, but she took most of the house's finances and left me in charge. Me, of all people. I've been useless for years. Oh, that is horrible. Needless to say, the house has been dipping into obscurity for some time now. Oh, that is painful. Let me talk to Mrs. Prattle. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna talk to her. I can't believe the professor has the gall, blah, blah, blah. It is rather, yeah. I'm beginning to think that the talks of his good deeds are simply rumors, private, Prattle level three. Let's can't can't. I'm beginning. Okay. Oh yeah. I guess. E. <coughs> oh yeah. Seymour House. Oh my god, this is like walking back and forth. Please! <laughs> Please, someone! Seymour's a right mess when it comes to handling the Seymour house. But he doesn't have much of a choice, eh? But if you think, Mrs. Seymour stole the family funds to run off with the Prado boy. You're mistaken. The Seymour house was bankrupt. The truth of the matter is she agreed to sell the estate to the professor's chatters to get the money they needed to elope wow wow oh man this is the drama <laughs> this mansion is in fact the old Seymour estate whoa oh man you can't trick an old gentleman like me I've been here a million times over the years wow Wow. Huh. I hate the, that Chatters bought the estate, but I suppose someone would have. It's a weird experience being back. Whoa, that's so horrible. Oh, oh that professor, he's made a fine purchase in buying the same Moore's estate. The servant leaves a bit to be desired though. I've heard that Chatters gives free reign to his servants when guests aren't making appearances. I've also heard that this servant is the only one the professor still employs. That explains why it's so common here. It's no secret that the professor was an inspiration to many of the troops, but mostly to the ones with lesser minds, shall we say. His professorly liberal thinking was easy for the mindless followers to indeed follow. And some even left their rank due to his manipulation. Private Prado, who is an endless source of this type of meaningless gossip, was one such person. He was led by Colonel Chatters personally. Woo! 
More than one person left the forces after being influenced by the professor's liberal attitudes. His mentality was viral. If Chatters wasn't so useful, we might have dismissed him. Pratter would still be in the armed forces then, for whatever that's worth. Woo! This is a... Uh, wow, this is getting dicey. Let's... let Come on. Give me, give me, give me more. It's true that Seymour House was or is penniless. The cell of this estate might have been of use if Mrs. Seymour stuck around. The Seymours had plenty of estates to sell, but not many would have the price and prestige of the official home the Seymour family has. Professor Chatters must have paid a fortune, but why? He must really like this dusty old place. Ooh, this is getting crazy. What is this one? Seymour House. This is getting crazy. Oh, man. Let's go. Hey. Tell me more. Private Pratter. Pratter. Blah, blah, blah. Private Prattle always looked up to his superiors in the military. It's no surprise that a great inventor inspired him to go after his dreams. Okay. Oh. The fact that Private Prattle left the military to pursue his childish dreams is downright absurd. Knowing that Chatters was in some way responsible for this is even more disappointing. Damn his charming smile. <laughs> I guess he must be a good looking fellow then. Private Prattle and Professor Chatters were awfully close, they say. Before he went AWOL, he and the professor mingled quite a bit. Can we talk about this later? Maybe after I finish this next glass. Man, he's he's distraught. He is distraught. Tell me more about your household. Huh. The Seymour house has been practically dissolved into obscurity at this point. It's not my favorite topic. If mother hadn't taken all of our money and left with that damn private prattle, we might still be squeaking. Squeaking? By, by somehow, possibly. I was rather uncomfortable accepting the ig ignoble professor's invitation, seeing as how this is the state I grew up on. Ignoble. I don't actually know what ignoble means. Let's look it up. Ignoble. Not honorable in character or purpose. Okay. All right. He's just really angry. Okay, let's talk to everyone. Who, do, who, oh. Uh, green and purple. Before you walk off. That's right, I recall fairly vividly now. Private Prado always admired older women. Running off with Mrs. Seymour was a classic move. I really can't blame the fellow. Mrs. Seymour was quite the sight. <clears throat> I had no idea that the head of the Seymour house eloped with Private Prado. All that matters is that Private Prado was a disappointment. To leave your patriotic duty in the name of love and dreams is a military sin. I can't respect it. I think I got all of them. Alright, so what I want to talk to her about. Let's talk to her about her son. <clears throat> Can't believe the professor has the gall to experiment on his guests. Has he no honor? <clears throat> it is rather surprising. <laughs> Reputable. Okay, I already got that. I already got that. He must have some merits. Your son was quite taken by his influence, wasn't he? What could you possibly know of my son? From what I hear, the professor inspired many people to leave the armed forces. Your son was no exception. What are you saying? Don't sound so flustered. Everyone knows that he left the military prematurely to run off with the head of Seymour House. The sale of this estate enabled them to elope. Elope? Horrid, absurd, treacherous. You can't possibly believe that my young boy will take part in such a ridiculous scandal. He's still, still working for our great country. 
country, proudly making his father pr proud. That's hardly a point to contest. This is the reality of it. Your assertions are incorrect, you trollop. Oh, I finally get to battle her. I am weak against her. Oh man. Uh, let's let's uh let's just start with getting as much power as possible. Oh yeah. You wanna you wanna attack immediately? Let's do this. Let's see. I don't want to do that, but okay. Let's just anger her immediately. Let's get the leg up on that. She's like on the attack immediately. I am disturbed by this. Okay, okay, we're we're getting back. Oh, she's she's finally getting irritated at at me and getting on the offensive. Uh, la 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 la. la. I can't do that one. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, coming back. All right, sorry about that, guys. Here we are again, back in the game. Let's see what's happening here. Uh, they did a circle. We want to... We really need to increase our attack. We can do that. Like the really aggressive moves. Take tack. All right. Oh. Got a. Woo. This is getting, getting difficult. Oh, I can't do it. Beyond return. Okay. Oh! Oh! 
This is getting this is getting dangerous. Getting real dangerous. Okay, that gave me quite a lot. Oh, come on. You're so annoying. I need more tack. Oh, did I make a mistake? No, I didn't. I didn't. I'm good. I'm good. She doesn't have enough tack to... To be able to do anything to me. Woo! I'm getting... This getting... <laughs> this is difficult. Alright. So, uh... Is this the correct one? This better be the correct one. Alright, alright. I got enough tack. Oh! I got enough tack. To move it back. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Wow, this is getting difficult, guys. This is really difficult. I'm so glad I did that. Oh, man. Oh. This is rough. I... Chapter 3 now? Hmm. Huh. Now that you've stopped investing in your simple delusions, maybe we can work with each other. I suppose that's a possibility. I don't much care for you, but you're right. My son has disgraced the Prattle name, and it's no use hiding it. Everyone knows. But very few people seem to realize that it's Professor Chatter's fault. That he acted out his boyish daydreams. Yes, indeed. That's an angle my husband and I had never fully considered. It isn't my son's fault he toyed with romantic fantasies. Every young man does, th does it. The blame should be firmly placed on someone else. Everyone steps up to one cliff's edge or another when they're young, but few step off. A superior officer should have provided guidance away from that cliff. Instead, Chatters pushed. And your son fell, bringing down the Prattle name. Yeah. Could it be that I was invited to this party to play the fool once again? Was taking my son from me not enough for Ch Chatters? Huh. It's possible. We're all currently trapped here by his mechanical manipulation. He could be capable of many devious and petty acts. I, for one, have had enough of this absurd absurdities. She, like, repeats her words. <laughs> I'm going to demand to see the professor immediately. Are we going to chapter three? No. Servant, I require your presence. I'm the only person here of that noble profession, so you must be referring to me. If you don't allow me to see the professor this very minute, I'm going to... Mm -hmm. To what, exactly? You're going to get even more drunk on the great professor's fine wines? I've barely had a few drinks. And yet, I can practically smell your breath from across the table. Do us a all a favor and enjoy the hospitality you've been shown this little experiment won't last much longer i assure you yeah. how dare you walk away from me <sighs> what a curious situation <clears throat> well i had it up to here with all of this the professor will pay for spoiling the prado name and trapping me in this little charade 
Let's see how well the professor's marvelous invent invention withstands all an 11 year age bottle of watermelon port. What? She gonna chuck it? Oh, come on, do it! Mrs. Prattle, what in the world are you doing? Something I should have done earlier this evening. The professor suggested we enjoy the wine, and I plan to do just that. You haven't thought this through. Mr. McCall is absolutely correct. That's a priceless Opal Charlin in your hand. Surely you meant to grab the Ableton. Wow. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Dear heavens, that Opal Carlin barely had a chance to breathe. This is truly a sad day for good port, Mr. Boasting. That is an adequate assessment, Mr. McCall. Even as a former serviceman, I can hardly say I've seen something quite so ghastly. Uh-oh. I guess the machine is drunk now. Ladies and gentlemen, I have splendid news. According to my readouts, the mouth has been thoroughly soaked in liquid and glass. That's not the good news, though. The good news is that it still functions flawlessly. This is in no small part due to my tedious preparations, of course. I am a certified genius. And although I'm literally quivering with anger, I have to appreciate the fact that my invention was put through this test of passion. You're a monster, Chatters. You've been nothing but a blight to my family. I realize that some of you might be saying that I am some kind of monster. To that, I must reenact my scoff from earlier. Scoff! Now that my throat has been thoroughly cleared, I must make something even clearer. Extra clear. Clearer than my now scoffed throat. All of you should remain here until my research has been Fully finish. Do any of you contest? You can't expect us not to take issue with this. I presume some of you have taken issue with this. Fair enough. And I must confess that none of you have any say in the matter. And that is that. The blasted professor can't hear us, Mr. McCall. Your silver tongue is no use. And I feel quite the fool for attempting to engage in his devilish discourse. Don't be too hard on yourself, Mr. McCall. There's not much we can do in the face of this terrible power he has over us. Ah, yes, and before I forget, Miss Gossip, I require your presence in my study within the next five minutes. Hmm. Me? Yes, you, Miss Gossip. Although I'm only repeating myself out of childish joy at this point, the mouth is a rather fun contraption. I shall leave you to your evening. Please refrain from harming the mouth any more than you already have. <laughs> that dirty scoundrel! Oh, I get to meet the man behind the contraption. You summoned me? Oh, there he is! For someone who practically assaulted a servant trying to get in here earlier, you're awfully cal calm. Oh. I don't much like being persuaded into your study by that mouth. Excuse me if I'm a bit tired. Hmm. You're a photographer, correct? I am the head photographer at Mishimbo. What does a bottling company need with a photographer? Everyone needs a photographer, Mr. Chatters. A picture is worth a thousand words, and you know how important words can be. Mm -hmm. More than anyone, perhaps. The real question is, why did you invite me to this gathering without knowing my profession or place of work? That's not a matter of importance yet. For now, we have business. Business, I have plenty more questions. Why have you called us here? Why us? How does the moth work? Why can't we leave? There's an ancient story of a man who held the power of words in his hand. Quite literally, the word was engraved on a stone. When he spoke the word aloud, people would simply collapse. Furthermore, he was immune to all forces of discourse. No matter the outcome of a conversation, he would walk away unscathed, completely in control. 
You ignore my questions. You must let me finish, Mishkaship. Even without my machine, I am much more skilled than you are. You stand no chance. In the legend, I, it was thought that the stone held the power and that the word activated the power. But I believe otherwise. I believe that the word written on any object can be will, will, welded as mightily as any sword. To hold it is to know it and to use it. Why would a renowned man of science invent in such a fairy tale? What good is magic to a professor? Magic has its place in the world. Magic is simply a term for science we do not yet understand. Mrs. Seymour was a strong woman. She had most of the other houses under her control. My inside sources say that she showed signs of having the word. No need to get into details, but everyone knows she was quite powerful, invincible. That is, until I convinced Private Prattle to seduce her and leave the country. Man, it was you. If this word existed, she surely took it with her. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. There's hardly reason to hold onto objects in the passions of a nighttime trist. Once fully disrobed, Prattle convinced her to leave. The small details of the situation are hard to explain, but I assure you, there is no chance she took the object with her. William made certain of it. William. Mm -hmm. The remainder of the guests have calmed down for now, Professor. The mouse, the mouth has upset them, but they show no signs of leaving. Excellent work, William. I was just informing Miss Gossip about my master plan. I hope you left some details to her vivid imagination. Whoa. Not many. I like to be fairly thorough when divulging secret conspiracies to semi-strange guests. <clears throat> so you use Mrs. Seymour's servant to ensure that she fled the estate without any of her personal belongings? Little good it did. She had apparently hid the word away before attending to private prattles. Private prattling. Wow. And this is where you come in, Miss Gossip. You are a fresh set of eyes and ears. You are quite persuasive to boot. Your powers of suggestion have pitted Mrs. Prattle against us. That's a new mess we need to clean. More importantly, you get along well with Seymour Seymour, heir to the Seymour house. He must have some information. Why not question him yourself? Why not use the mouth? Mm -hmm. We will, if we have to, but for now, it's best not to apply too much pressure, and using the mouth would inform everyone of our plan. As stupid as this plan sounds, what makes you think I will go along with it? You refuse? I'm not daft. Of course I refuse. Allow me to persuade you then. Oh, no! I already lost! What is this? This is ridiculous! I'm already in the losing area! No matter what I do, I'm going to lose. Why you have so many skills? I lost. That's all I can do. I'm 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 gone. There you go. Oh wow. I'm persuaded. Turns out, you're a much better listener than you thought, eh? Now, here's the deal. You are going to wean as much information about the word as possible from young Master Seymour without letting on too much about our plan. Once you've discovered information we might find of use, you are to report to William. Calling me sir is an option, but not a demand. I also prefer pet names like Your Highness and Mr. Superior. Go! with whatever feels right. Is this perfectly clear? Uh, I'll be done before you know it. Wow, that's devious. Chapter three, fertility, or a fate worse than mild 
something. I didn't read it in time. That is crazy. Wow. We're going to save it at that. That was uh, painfully long and longer than an hour. I apologize, but let's do this. Woo. Woo. Man. Let's just make sure this is saved correctly. Chapter 3. So thank you so much, guys, for joining me. This has been Lola Knuckle the Backburner playing Last Word. I apologize that it took so long to actually progress. This is a lot of reading. Um, if you're enjoying the series, please let me know. I'm going to complete it. I don't know how long it'll take me to do the next episode. But uh, thank you so much for joining me. No matter what your time zone may be. Have a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Let's talk to this cat before we go. Meow. Me, Harper, the cat, the house cat, also wants to say bye. Have a good night, guys. Bye-bye.